Hey folks, Steve here. Today's project is to build a piano holder. My son has a, I would say a five to $600 Panasonic keyboard. My wife wants to use a closet that it sets in and it just takes up some floor space. And so I want to design a bracket that will actually hold it onto the back of a door, but still make it accessible. And so I designed basically this, it's going to be basically a box at the bottom that's attached to the door that will support the keyboard. And then I will have at the middle and at the top, I will simply have kind of a wraparound bracket with arms that will just swing down basically on screws. And so, you know, nothing super complicated, but I think it will be a little bit easier than to try and configure some metal. So I will insert a picture of the keyboard itself. So here's that keyboard and his cello in his dorm room. The next picture is me indulging in that him playing at our holiday party. And there's the keyboard again. And then him actually playing cello in his orchestra and then at a grand piano. And also the closet and the closet door that it's going into. So that's what I want to do. I want to get that keyboard on that door and make sure that it is fully supported, not going to be damaged, and that it will actually uh, save some floor space in the closet itself. So that's what I'm working on today. And for that, I'm going to build it out of poplar. I was considering oak, but it's in a closet and we'll never really see it except when the closet door is open. So here we go. What a great time for a Polk Total Station, right about now. <laughs> Okay, all the parts are made. So what it'll be now is sanding, assembly, and then installation, and then testing it out. And with any luck, it's going to work. <laughs> we'll see.
So that's the idea. Yep, cool. I can put a few plastic bumpers in there just to ease a little bit of the back and forth, just to absorb a little bit of if the piano moves, but I think we have a winner. Six screws down here holding it to the door, so I don't think that's in danger of coming off. This piano probably goes less than 30 pounds, so I think we should be good there. And this is, of course, glued and screwed all the way around. Other than finishing it, I think this is a done deal. I believe Mrs. Spencer is going to be happy, and I believe son Ben will be happy as well. All right, there we go. Nice little project for the day. Uh, very functional, it gets it up off the floor, so she has whatever closet space she wants to utilize in our, in our son's bedroom. He's, of course, grown and moved away. We still call it his bedroom, but uh, it's really, I guess, the spare room at this point, although we haven't redecorated for that. But there we go. Uh, nice little project. <clears throat> if she wants to refinish, or if she wants to finish the poplar, then 12 screws later, it's off, and we can finish as needed. All right, well... Well, there we have it. Thank you very much for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed a project from scratch. I don't do many of them, so there you go. Interesting little project. I enjoyed it. Take care. Hey, folks, a little bit of an addendum. Uh, I had realized, uh, because I was putting together the footage of building this piano holder that's on the, uh, on the back of this door here, that I had indicated that I would put some padding. 
never did. And now that it's the holidays and my son is home and so he's occupying his old bedroom and this piano uh, may come in and out a couple of times because he's the keyboardist. And also, he'll be in and out of this closet regardless. And so, this thing will be shifting back and forth quite a bit as far as, you know, it's, it was never a tight fit. It's just meant to hold it there. And so, I went ahead, a whole bunch here, just felt pads. Yeah. And do-it-yourself felt pads. Just to make sure that both of the, uh, the guards here, the guards there, the holders, retainers, and then down in the box on the uh, left, right, and in the front, that I have pads there, so the piano itself is going to hit the pads before it's going to hit any of the wood. A little bit of added protection. Oops. There we go. Okay. Back to the video, or... Actually, no, probably not. This is the end of the video. So with that being said, thank you very much. If you would like and subscribe down below, I really do appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed this project. We had a need and we created something to fill that need and doesn't look that bad. Very functional. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Take care.